Hi there, my name is Grady Bias with North Point Yacht Sales, and today we are on a 2019 Passport 545 Ocean Eyes. I'm excited to walk you through the boat, take you out for a sale, and tell you some of the things that makes this a very special boat. Ocean Eyes is being listed for sale after being commissioned right here in Annapolis for very experienced boat owners. They've had two fun seasons on board and are now going to head back to the world of work, which gives you a great opportunity to buy a late model Passport 545, this being hole number 11, the last of the 545 series that was built. Ocean Eyes is the center cockpit version of the 545, and you'll see as we stand here in the cockpit and start our tour that it's a very comfortable space with a full enclosure, great dodger all the way forward. And when we're sitting down, the owner has the ability to single hand the boat so they can access the main sheet winches, the forward primary winches, electronics right here at your hand, and then also you've got your bow thruster, windlass controls, and anything that you might need, including the great Raymarine suite of electronics. One of my favorite features about this cockpit is how well laid out it is. You can see from this entertaining table right to the electric push button winches, you have access anywhere you are, all in an enclosed, comfortable space. The aft deck on Ocean Eyes, as you can see, is very spacious, but it's got a lot of highlights and a lot of thought that the owner put into with custom upgrades. You'll see here we start with these benches, so you have a nice comfortable seating area already built into the railing. You can also put out deck chairs if you like. Cato davits make it easy to get the dinghy in and out of the water, and when the dinghy's in the water, you have a nice set of stairs for ingress and egress in and out of the dinghy. You'll also notice large lazarettes on the sole here in the cockpit, and then a great passage forward. So as we walk forward, we have good handrails as I make my way to the foredeck. Making our way forward on Ocean Eyes, you'll see that every detail has been thought out from the raised bulwark for safety and comfort down to the custom teak bow rail that they did. They've left everything natural so you as a buyer can choose exactly how you'd like to finish the boat out. This is a passport at the end of the day, so it's been built very beefy from our stainless hoss holds up forward to the stainless steel cleats, every detail's been thought of. In the mooring area, there's an upgraded windlass uh, with a secondary backup anger and a nice storage locker. The Passport 545 has won best boat of the year several times, and one of the reasons is because it's such a great blue water sailing boat. The Selden mast with custom paint, up and down rigger lights make this boat look beautiful, but also a pleasure to sail. All quantum sail package with an in-mast furling led to an electric winch makes it easy. And the new furling system means that you can furl the sail at any point of sail and don't have to worry about it getting stuck. As we move forward to the head sails, we have a self-tacking jib that means that you can very easily single hand the boat. And then our forward forestay, we have a Code Zero-like sail so that you can reach with a little bit extra oomph when it's not time for the self-tacking jib. In a little short while, we'll go for a sail, but first, I want to take you through one of my favorite parts of the boat, this customized, beautiful cherry interior. Now that we've made our way down the companionway, which features custom curved stairs to make sure you're comfortable underfoot at all times, we find ourselves in the salon of Ocean Eyes, and I think you'll see that there has been a lot of thought put into this area of the boat. When the owners were looking to purchase this boat, they had three things in mind. They wanted a boat that had a nice aesthetic, they wanted a boat that was built out of quality and sailed well, and also, a very livable and comfortable interior. The custom cherry interior, I think you'll find has some of the best joinery that you'll see in class. And then with the two cabin layout, there's lots and lots of room and space for enjoyment. The settee in the salon here has been thought of like everything else in the boat. Here we have what I call the cocktail table. It's a little smaller and easier to get around for most day use, but there is also a larger dining table and then a filler piece that fills this entire space in to make a day bed or a third stateroom for a sleeping area. As we move over to the starboard settee, there is also a piece that fills in to make a nice little table in the middle there too. You'll notice that even for a 54 foot boat, this salon is very spacious. There's some very creative engineering that went into this boat, even different from other 54 footers and other boats in the 545 lineup, like thinner fuel tanks that still made sure we have enough range and plenty of tankage. That means that there's lots of headroom and as we work our way forward, there's no thresholds. It's one level of space you're not gonna be tripping as you go forward or into your master stateroom aft. As we transition from the salon forward, you'll see that utility is very important in the 545. There's lots of storage space in either of the settees. And then we have the bar area that directly adjoins the salon. So if you're entertaining with friends and family on board, this is very accessible. There's an ice maker, lots of storage, and then the custom fun area, just so you can enjoy the bar. As we move forward to the forward stateroom, the first thing we're gonna pass is the ensuite head. As we make our way in here, you'll see that the head has a shepherd shower stall 
And one of my favorite features that really shows off a lot of the custom joinery done in the boat is this pocket door. Now we're moving into the forward stateroom and you can still see how open everything feels. Right now we have two doors in the head open, the forward stateroom head open, and it feels very comfortable and spacious. As we make our way into the forward stateroom, you'll see that we have a queen size bed with access from either side, but they've also used it for some systems groups. You'll find the water heater in here, bow thruster, as well as lots and lots of storage, which the owners say they use regularly. The starboard side of your guest stateroom, you'll find a hanging locker and a port, you'll find a vanity, which means that they're gonna be comfortable while they're spending time on board. For most of us sailors, there's two ways to our heart. Time spent on the water and great food. And the 545 really delivers on the great food part. This galley is one of the things that sells this boat over almost any other boat in its class. As we make our way through, I'll show you some of the features, starting with the fridge, which is top loading as well as front loading. This trash space is wired for a compactor if you'd prefer to have a compactor on board. And as we move aft, three burner stove, which is wired to two 20 pound tanks on deck. Those tanks also feed a grill through a hose so you're not having to change little one pound bottles all the time. Making our way aft, we have our freezer. Both of them have been upgraded to fridge boat controls so you have nice digital controls here. Then we have our undermounted sink. This sink has a couple different ways that we can use it with a freshwater pump feed here. So if you're not wanting to use electricity and you're on the hook, you can do so. And then this little nozzle is raw water or it can also drain the refrigerators as needed. Lots of storage throughout the galley space here on both sides, uh, as well as pantry systems on both port and starboard side. Making our way aft into the full beam master stateroom, you'll see that they've thought of everything with storage with both port and starboard hanging lockers. Great storage throughout. And then the real highlight here is we have a king size berth. And the real neat feature on the king size berth is underneath the foot here, you have a headboard that can flip up. So if you'd rather sleep yourself with your heads forward in the boat, you can do so. Just makes you feel a little bit more open and area in the boat. Then as we move our way to the port side, we have a nice vanity right here, center line, which is also access to your Northern Lights generator. But then the ensuite head is very comfortable with a nice head vanity and very comfortable shower. Making our way forward from the ensuite master head, we have the washer dryer here. Also a little bit of a utility space. You can do any sort of work you might need, full laundry and linens right here. But then the nav station is where all the technology meets this boat. As we move into the nav station, you can see we have a nice screen here. So if you wanna blow up uh, any of the navigation you're doing, you have the ability to do so with an onboard computer. Raymarine electronics still highlight the boat throughout, uh, but everything's been thought through. Everything from an SSB, which we don't currently have on board, but the owners had the boat pre-wired and pre-rigged for the SSB. And just another blue water feature. There's no water maker on board, but again, everything was pre-plumbed and pre-wired so that you're able to go offshore as far as you like and really get off the grid if you need be. Uh, Iridium Go, Fusion Stereo Control, Digital Multi Control, and all of your switching here means that you have access to everything you need right here in the nav station. Any blue water sailor is gonna be just as interested in the engine as they are with the sail package. So here we are in front of the Yanmar 4JH 110. It's a common rail motor, which is exactly what you would like in this type of a boat. The owners tell me that they cruise the boat at a very efficient range at 2200 RPM, doing seven and a half to eight knots very, very easily, burning one to 1.2 gallons an hour when they do so. Even in a head sea, they still have a lot of RPM to go and you can easily maintain seven and a half upwards to eight knots when you're going upwind. As we look into the engine space, you can see you have great access, 360 degrees. Counter strip pulls out from the starboard side here. We have doors forward and on the port side. And then all the way back in the ensuite master head, you have a standing height door so you can go in, access the dual Raycor fuel filters. You can get to a lot of the other switching and panel needs in the back of the boat there. And then there's the Northern Lights generator. Uh, we also have upgraded to a higher amperage alternator so that as you're underway in cruising, even though we've got the great solar package, you're still putting out a lot of amperage to maintain the boat systems. I think you'll like what you find here. Thank you for joining me on the guided walkthrough of this beautiful Passport 545 Ocean Eyes. I think you can now see that the owners have thought through everything and they've very intelligently commissioned the boat. Because of that, it's ready for you to transition and go sailing anywhere in the world you want. My name's Grady Bias, and I hope to see you soon. Give me a call to schedule a FaceTime walkthrough or an in-person walkthrough. Look forward to talking soon.